Well, we had bobblehead action, but those bobbleheads, as fun as Kyrie Irving is, and you can still enter to win that Kyrie Irving bobblehead if you're going to tell me who you're going to give it to for Christmas, a uh, great collection. Well, they're not going to make the Layfeld Weldon top five, but I'll tell you what, Zach Keith knows exactly which five plays are in this week's Layfeld Weldon top five. We kick this week's first official winter top five off with ladies hoops. How about Fort Recovery leading in the fourth against New Knoxville, but Kenzie Schreer gets the steal and score, and the foul would pull her team within three. They would fall. Number four spot, Versailles, Justin Arts picking up the loose ball. Takes his time getting it down the floor and then pulls up for the deep three. Nothing but net. Good looking shot for the future Buckeye and his undefeated Tigers. Another late game situation at the three spot. This time it's Bath taking on Bluffton. Under a minute, Bath's Harrison Goff gets it. And the paint scores. This would cap off Bath's comeback to send it into overtime. And the Wildcats would get the OT win on a Friday night. Now Arlington takes the two spot in a broadcast game from Lipsick. Could have been number one any other week. Jordan Berger throws it up from half court as the third quarter expires. Wow. Thanks to Aaron Matthews for pointing that one out. Great play at number two for Mr. Berger. On to the number one play. Could be the top play of the winner. Temple Christian tie with Parkway, 50 apiece. Pioneers looking for the final shot. It's no good, but Seth Holbein scoops it up and in. Wow, take another look on your slow motion Winston replay. You see the block by the Panthers, but huge scoop and score for Holbein and a last second win for the Temple Christian Pioneers. Thanks BJ McFerrin for providing this, and thanks Leifeld Welding for providing this week's top five.